This is Nina from WAMDA. We're here with the CARM Solar team. Um, Yumna, I know you. We met at the MIT Abu Dhabi workshop, but um, I'd love to meet the rest of the team. Yes, um, actually, it's a great opportunity. You met Ahmed Zahran before, and now you're going to meet the complete team. We have uh, Randa Fahmi. She's one of uh, the engineers working on the project with us. And uh, Xavier, au clair. Hi. <laughs> Ahmed, unfortunately, is uh, on his way back from Beirut, so he can't make it uh, to the, this interview. But you, ha you met Ahmed before. Yeah, yeah, we have you guys uh, on WAMDA. But I just wanted to ask you guys, how did the, how did the Wharton HTC Innovation Tournament go? Um, you guys won. Congratulations. How do you feel? <laughs> very well, actually, very well. Yes, it was um, quite unexpected, to be honest, because uh, unfortunately we couldn't attend the... We couldn't travel to Abu Dhabi to uh, do the presentation over there. We had to do it over uh, the web. So we didn't actually think we stood a chance. So the surprise was actually fantastic. We were very happy. And it reminded us that we really have an important project between our hands. Um, and that's it. So we're actually very happy. We really didn't expect it as well. And uh, actually, we, we received uh, great support, like technical support, so that uh, we can still be able to participate, even though it was over Skype. So we mm -hmm. really thank you. I mean, I mean, it's important organizer. It was really amazing. Yeah, I heard they were very impressed that you were conducting all of your interviews uh, via Skype. <laughs> Technology is uh, great. Um, were they tough on you guys? What kind of feedback did they give you? Um. Actually, yeah, there was a 10-minute session of Q&A. Uh, the questions were very technical and detailed. It's uh, always good to be uh, put on the spot. Um, uh, I mean, it's very good for it's good practice for us. It helps us with our presentation skills. It um, makes us aware of uh, issues that we could probably focus on more. Uh, the, the questions were very difficult, uh, but also very important. And thank God, I think we were able to answer them. Yeah, I just would like to add, uh, actually we were really happy to be challenged because it, as you know, I think it's really like the first time in a competition we are asking really like detailed technical questions. Mm -hmm. And so for us it was a pleasure because we could enter in what we are really doing, which is normally something that people don't really understand or it's too technical so that we can show it. And in this, honestly, the challenge did, so it was a pleasure too. Mm -hmm. And there was another challenge because many of the other, of the other competitors have uh, had a working demo and we still in the phase of doing our pilot project. So uh, actually we, uh, all we could present was uh, was a concept but it was a very solid one. Mm -hmm. So we had very tough competition actually. Yeah. Very cool. I thought it was very strong when I saw you guys in Abu Dhabi. So I'm very excited for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Cool. Can you actually, we have you on WAMDA talking about the idea, but can you just briefly explain it again to our audience and discuss what's next for you guys after this win? Yes, of course. Um, we're, we're working on a, on a solution that we call off-grid high-capacity solar water pumping solution. And the, name, the title is very long, but I'll simplify it. Basically, what we do is we pump underground water using solar energy and uh, and we replace the use of diesel generators. In the Middle East and Africa region, most of water pumping uh, happens uh, through diesel generators and they're very polluting and unreliable. So our solution is to actually replace this. Also, our solution is a, it's a, it's broad. We don't only uh, provide uh, our clients with the energy needed to uh, pump water, we also pro provide them with energy management services. Uh, through a software that we're working on, which we call Solar Management Interface. Uh, this Solar Management Interface makes it easy for the client, which right now is the farm owner, to operate the solar system on the farm. It should. Our whole point is to make the, the so solar energy even more practical and easier to use than diesel, uh, in order to make it truly a commercially viable alternative, not just cost competitive, but also practical and easy to use. I see. So it's not just that farmers are feeling good about using this system, but taking some, making a sacrifice for it. It's that you're actually going to make it easier for them to pump water. Yeah, because farmers, I mean, are familiar with diesel generators, even though they face logistical problems. Uh, there's diesel supply shortages in many of the countries. The price, uh, price of diesel fuel is going up. 
this is what we know how to use. They're familiar with it. When you talk to them about solar energy, there's a stigma that solar energy is too expensive. Uh, it doesn't really work. Um, it's 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 a risk for them that they're afraid to take. It's a new innovation that they're not familiar with. So we're trying to make it more familiar and make it easy for them. I see. And are you guys going to build a prototype now? Um, well, we are building a prototype for the solar management interface, but what we're actually working on, we're completing a design to implement a, a pilot project, uh, hopefully either in Jordan or Egypt, um, and that's it. And so we'll implement a pilot project to be able to showcase the commercial viability of the solar water pumping solution. Very cool. Um, mm -hmm. I look forward to it. And just tell me, where are you right now? Are you in your office in Cairo? Yes. Yes, we are. We uh, we finally moved into our office. We've been uh, working off of, off of the cafe for uh, two weeks. <laughs> it was actually very difficult. Uh, finally, we have an office. We have uh, four desks and four chairs and white walls, which is uh, exactly what we need for now. Good. How does it feel? It feels great. The weather is nice. There's a nice breeze coming in from the window. <laughs> it's nice to have your own office. Uh, Randa, Xavier, how do you feel? <laughs> it's a good spirit. I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a good feeling. Like, it's just a start of feeling, you know. Uh, as you know, I was saying, it's very simple. So, like, we really feel we are doing it, which is nice. Great. Now you just need Ahmed to come back from Beirut. Yes, he's actually on his way, but yeah. He'll yeah. be here in, like, two hours. In two hours, yeah. Cool. Well, it's great to chat with you guys. And again, Mabruk. Thank you very much. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Take care, guys. All right. Bye. Bye.